Good evening and welcome here. Welcome to Songs and Sweets. Uh, and thank you for joining us this evening as we celebrate the legacy of music and generosity within the RGC community. My name is Alex Thiessen and I am the Director of Admissions and Development at RGC. I want to begin by acknowledging that we gather on Treaty 6 land and honor with gratitude the land itself and the people who have stewarded it through the generations. This calls us to commit to continue learning how to be better stewards of the land we inhabit as well. Now, if you've attended this event before, you may know it by a few different names. So, you might know it as Guys and Pies or Choirs and Cakes. This year, it's Songs and Sweets. <laughs> And we get it, it can be a bit confusing if you keep coming to this event and just asking, like, what is it called? But all you have to remember, music, desserts, and cake auction. But we're not going to call it that. So, songs and sweets it is. This, uh, in its various forms, this fundraiser has been about celebrating the power of music in bringing together students, alumni, friends, and the wider community around RJC. As the music program has grown, changed, and evolved, we wanted to reflect the different kinds of music and uh, within our programming, and you're going to see that here tonight. This evening, we have the chance, this evening, we are the chance to be treated by, by a wide range of musical groups. We're excited to have three RGC student groups, the RGC Singers, the RGC Bass Choir, which also has a few staff, and the RGC Concert Band, all of whom are directed by Kaylee Skomorowski. We're also excited to have an Alumni and Friends Choir directed by RGC alumnus and staff member Jill Weens and accompanied by Brenda Epp. There's a rich history of choral singing at RJC and over the years an RJC Alumni Choir in some form has participated in this fundraiser. So we're very excited to have that group here tonight as well. We are also thrilled to welcome Elixir, a chamber ensemble from Saskatoon. You'll hear more about this group later, but we're grateful for them in being here tonight and for participating in our fundraiser. This three-piece piano and strings group is here thanks to support from grants from Sask Arts and the Saskatchewan Orchestral Association. Okay, so that pretty much covers the songs parts of this event. Now the sweets part, there's a wide range of desserts you've noticed on your table. Please feel free to eat those uh, as the event goes on. I know some of you have already started, so great, good job. They are made uh, thanks to the support of our kitchen staff. And feel free to, if you need more desserts, where there's going to be a few students who are going to be coming around helping to fill coffee, water, and if you want a refill on like chocolate cake or something, say, hey, do you have more chocolate cake? And we'll see if we do. Don't be afraid of that. If you uh, are gluten, uh, gluten sensitive and want to have gluten-free options, there's a table to my right over there with a sign, gluten-free. You should be able to find it. And if you have any emergency coffee or water needs, there is a station at the back uh, of the auditorium as well. So please enjoy. The other important suites, um, aside from that on the table, um, is, are the ones on the long table to my right, which you may have noticed as you came into the auditorium. We are going to be having a live cake auction later in the program. So feel free to get up if you haven't already, eye up a cake that you might like, and maybe talk to your table or talk to your friends and family and pool together some money because we are going to be auctioning those off later. So be prepared to bid high. You also may have noticed uh, some cupcakes as you came in the door. Those are, can be purchased individually or in groups of five for our cupcake lottery. Each cupcake is numbered and immediately following the cake auction, we're going to be drawing a winning number. If your cake, cupcake is the lucky number, uh, you are the winner of a diamond necklace donated by Heinrich's Jewelry. So please make sure to get up, go get cupcakes, um, and enjoy those. Now, this is the night to break Lent if you made a, like, if you decided you were giving up sweets. This is the night where you can just toss that out the window. Or if you did do that, maybe this isn't the event for you. We're just kidding. Uh, but please remember to buy cupcakes uh, and participate in the cake auction later. As I, uh, now, with the cupcakes, with the sweets, I do want to emphasize that this is a fundraising event. Our goal is to raise $30,000 for RJC. This is our sing single second biggest fundraising event for the school year, and your donations are so important to helping to provide so many opportunities throughout the year for our students. And tonight, you're going to see an example of that through our music program. So, please make a donation on your table. You can do so with a check. 
in, or in the basket. That's my timer to say start the event. <laughs> it started. <laughs> you can do so with the check on the table or with the instructions on uh, your program uh, with a QR code or e-transfer email address. So we're going to get the program started. Our first performers tonight are the RGC Singers, led by Kaylee Skomorowski, accompanied by Brenda Epp and Cyrus Lowe. And following that, we'll hear from the RGC Bass Choir and then the Concert Band. The RGC Singers is an extracurricular mixed voice choir that performs throughout the year at churches, music festivals, and other community events. The Concert Band rehearses all year during the school day. And this year, both groups, the concert band and the singers, have the chance to travel to Winnipeg for the CAMS National Music Festival, where they'll have the chance to collaborate with other Mennonite schools from across Canada. Now, please join me in welcoming the RGC Singers.
Thank you. Uh, that first piece was titled Eternity uh, by Michael Jensen. And it is uh, a piece very much about just the vastness of, of time, of eternity, of God's love. Uh, so thank you for allowing us to envelop you um, in sound with that first piece. Uh, the next one we'd like to share with you tonight is uh, called Good Night by a Canadian composer, uh, Matthew Emery, who's like 21, 22, um, and makes me feel like maybe I should do a little bit more with my life. Um, but this piece is uh, based on, sorry, the text is by uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, uh, and it is a poem about saying good night or farewell. Um, to a loved one, either through their eternal rest or um, as a, a parent to their child, um, as that uh, child slumbers softly off into sleep. And this song will be accompanied by one of our students, Cyrus Lowe. Thank you. 
Uh, the last piece the singers will be sharing with you this evening is a, called Vindu. And um, often when we sing this piece, uh, folks like to ask what language it is written in. It's kind of a fun guessing game, uh, but I'll spoil the answer for you. It is all vocalese, uh, so it is no particular language. Uh, composers just using the human voice, um, much like another instrument. And uh, so if you're looking for sense in the text, it's going to be a long night. So uh, this is Vindu.
I'd love to invite those members of Bass Choir that are singing with us this evening to join us. So we have two selections to share with you from Bass Choir tonight. Uh, the first one is a Celtic folk song called Carrick Fergus. It is uh, the story of a man at a later chapter in his life reflecting on past loves, past lives. Um, and the second one will keep as a bit of a surprise um, for all of you. It's one I'm super excited uh, to have the Bass Choir share with you tonight. Uh, but yeah, we hope you enjoy. We'll start with Carrick Fergus.
Everyone. My name is Christy Martin Spunk. I graduated from RJC back in 1996, and my oldest, Brayden, is in grade 12 this year, and I'm singing in the Alumni and Friends Choir today. I have great memories of going to RJC, being in the Women's Chorus and Choral, and especially going on choir tours where many great memories are made. I really appreciated having the chance to learn more about music and it's become a really important part of my life. Seeing the same happen with Brayden has been so wonderful. My partner Carl and I always wanted our kids to go to RJC for many reasons, and one of the big ones for Brayden has been the music program. He's had the chance to learn saxophone and bass clarinet. He's sung in singers and in musical, and he got to go uh, to the Saskatchewan Honor Choir this year. So he's really made the most of those experiences and I think has got his younger sister excited. She'll be going to RJC next year and she's also really enjoys music and I think is going to have a wonderful time learning more about that part of herself and learning what it's like to make music with other people, which is so powerful and can really lift one's spirits. So today I hope you'll join me in make a, making a contribution to RJC's music program. And a big thanks to RJC and all the staff and the community for making it such a great place for my kids and their friends and the school. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, my name is Ryan Wood. I'm the president and CEO at RJC High School, and it's just a pleasure to uh, welcome you here as well um, on behalf of the school um, for this evening of celebrating the legacy of music and generosity within the RJC community. It's great to see you all out, uh, and your attendance is much appreciated. Thank you to all of our choirs and our band, our accompanists, and our sound and light crew and to our music director, Kaylee Skomorowski, for all of her leadership at our school's program. <laughs> the 
Your gifts tonight allow us to continue investing in programs like you are seeing this evening. Investments in music and the arts provide opportunities for our students to sing in choirs, play in the band, and perform on stage, all while building and learning life skills, deepening their musical talents, and making new friends and having some fun along the way. And as our guests this evening will show us, that's our alumni choir in Elixir, these experiences learned in youth uh, often may be a gift that will last a lifetime and continue to bless others and spawn further musical pursuits as our students graduate from RJC. An investment in music for young people is a wise investment and one that keeps paying back and paying it forward far beyond the classroom and high school hallways, even though it often begins and or is nurtured there. This past Wednesday in our chapel, just above to the back there, we hosted the leadership team of Mennonite Church, Saskatchewan. As part of an appreciation chapel and a chapel roof re-blessing, a blessing. We have recently completed a re-roof project for our chapel and gymnasium spaces and received a generous $50,000 gift from the Mennonite Church, Saskatchewan Special Projects Fund. Thank you to MC Sask and its supporting churches and members for this generous gift. I am grateful that even though the snow is melting on this beautiful evening, we are dry in this space tonight. <laughs> Following this appreciation chapel and talking over lunch with Alex, Gary Peters, the executive minister, and Sharon Schultz, the moderator, we all agreed that one of the highlights of them joining us in that service was this singing together, particularly with students. What a powerful experience to sing together and find a common voice for our joys, fears, hopes, feelings, and dreams, and to strike a chord across the generations. From the chapel to the gym, from the stage to the rehearsal hall, from the classrooms to the band rooms, singing and making music connects us, young and old, and binds us together. It helps to find who we are and gives us an expression within our community. Sadly, this isn't the case everywhere. As I watch the news, as you do, I'm often reminded of areas of our world at war or areas that are in desperate situations, where investments are being made in guns, not gyms, in cluster bombs, not chapels. And I am reminded of the privilege that we have to be able to have the freedom in this place to invest in things that build up, not the things that tear down, to invest in programs designed to deepen relationships, not to destroy them. What an opportunity. And I'm reminded of the gift and responsibility of us to share our resources and to not squander these opportunities to exercise our freedom in positive ways, to sing into the darkness, to make music together in the rain, especially when others can't, at least not for now. Thank you for your gifts. Your gifts make that type of difference today in our students and in the world we all want to build. Allow me just a few more moments to share a couple highlights about our music program. As you heard, or as you may have seen in the program, we are very excited to announce this year's year-end musical, Les Mis. Um, it's gonna be a really great show, save the date, it's in the program. You'll hear announcements very soon about ticket sales and more details, but we're very excited about that and, and Kaylee and the students are busy auditioning and getting ready. Another big highlight, as Alex mentioned, we're looking forward to our uh, Canadian Association of Mennonite Schools um, music, National Music Festival, which is our choir tour this year, which will take us to Winnipeg. And we'll have the opportunity to gather, make music, worship together, um, do some fun things together with over 337 students from across Canada at schools working towards similar values as ours. What an opportunity to make, uh, broaden our horizons and uh, make music with people um, who are seeking the world that we are trying to build. I look forward to this event and how it will impact our students and encourage our student body. In closing, thank you again for your presence tonight, thank you for your gifts, thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening.
Oh. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, we just need to play a few things. Some of these kids have been up here for like the whole concert already and somehow their instruments are in tune. Um, anyway, um, so our JC concert band, we had a wonderful introduction. Uh, I want to thank um, Alex and Ryan for those uh, nice words about the ensemble. Uh, I just wanted to share one special piece of their special story um, and I'm kind of putting them on the spot right now. But one of the very unique uh, pieces about the concert band here at our JC is we take beginner uh, instrumentalists and a number of kids behind me are actually learning their instrument for the first time this year uh, so I thought that we would highlight some of those students so I'm gonna get you all to stand up first just it's okay no one's gonna hurt you just all of you stand up everybody everybody's in the band stand up for a second all right. uh, sit down if you've been playing your instrument for three years or more Sit down if you've been playing for two years or more. Sit down if you've been playing for one year or more. And those standing should be our first year instrumentalists. So, yes, thank you. All right, now you can sit down, thank you. I just want to highlight that. Uh, beginner band students that sound not like beginner band students are a true blessing and we're really thankful to have them. Uh, the first piece I want to share with you tonight is a piece called Zenith, and it's by a composer named Pete Meekin, uh, who lives in uh, Manitoba, but lived here in Saskatchewan when he wrote this piece. It was actually commissioned for a high school band in Martinsville, and Zenith refers to the point just above the celestial sphere. Uh, so there's lots of movement in this piece that really focuses the sound up, and uh, it's really about the inspiration of the prairie sky and all that comes with that, living in the land of living skies. So this is Zenith.
was a piece called Falling Rain uh, by James Spirigen. Hopefully you heard a bit of our rain stick back there. Uh, but that is all we have for you from the concert band. So let's hear one more time for the RJC concert band. We're just going to take a moment to reset here just so that Elixir can get started. Uh, so feel free to browse the cakes, buy more cupcakes, and, uh, and we'll I'll come back to the mic when it's...
Hello. OK. There we go. All right, I'll invite you to come and uh, take your seat again. We'll get started here shortly. So I'd like to welcome here tonight uh, our guest group, uh, Elixir. Elixir is a chamber ensemble from Saskatoon and has been presenting a successful annual concert series in Saskatoon since 2009. Elixir performs piano quartets, trios, quintets, and works with other small ensembles, featuring a diversified repertoire for the enjoyment and education of audiences. Elixir's repertoire includes uh, the great trios and quartets of classic literature, as well as works by women and Canadian composers. Tonight, we are joined by Elixir. We're very excited to have them here as part of our fundraising event. And uh, if there's any words they want to say, they're welcome to. But otherwise, please welcome Elixir. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. And thanks for coming. Uh, we're going to start with two movements of a Mozart trio in B flat. So two movements, followed by the first movement of the Mendelssohn trio in A minor, in D minor, sorry. <laughs> so three movements all together. Thank you. And you can applaud after the Mozart, after the two movements of Mozart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much. If you'd like to hear more, we're playing the whole program, an entire program, on April 14th at Emmanuel Church in Saskatoon, and you're all welcome to come. I hope you enjoyed it tonight. Thank you so much. Excellent. Well, we are uh, about to start our, start our cake auction, but uh, just to let you know, we're going to do the cupcake lottery immediately after the cake auction is done. So there's a few cupcakes left. Go buy them off, and then we will make that draw as soon as Paul and Nicole are done. So I'll welcome Paul and Nicole forward, um, and we're going to do some transitioning at the same time here. But Paul and Nicole, you can come up. Can you get the lights on for the gym? Yeah. 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 Hamilton, do you want to turn these off too? Thanks. Okay, if we can get everybody's attention. If I don't. Uh, welcome here to the annual RJC Cake Fundraiser. Uh, my name is Nicole Thiessen. I am a alumnus of the class of 98. I am one of the longest serving board members in RJC history with a 12 year term, uh, which is not normal. <laughs> Um, I have deep roots in Roster and my mom grew up here as well as my grandparents uh, and I'm on the committee for this fundraiser. This is my dad, Paul Thiessen. He is a longtime supporter of the school and although he didn't go here, he had all of his kids go here. Um, my dad is also a former RJC board member. He was on the board for nine years so I followed in his footsteps. Just outdid him by three years. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, he only did eight, so I really outdid you. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the 1980s, my dad went to auctioneering school in Mason City, Iowa, to the Worldwide College of Auctioneering. I grew up uh, as a child. I loved going to my dad's auctions. Um, although now tonight I'm his assistant, but as a child, mostly my job was making sure that my brothers didn't eat all of our family profits out of the hot dog and donut booth. <laughs> Um, now my dad just does charity auctions and I'm really glad he's here tonight. Um, thank you to all of the bakers. There is a lot of time and effort, energy and cost that goes into each of these cakes here tonight. I love to bake myself and I know how much time goes into each of these. So thank you to all of you who baked cakes for tonight. Everyone, every year they're willing and creative and willing to step to the plate and come here tonight. Um, I have two assistants with me here tonight. I'll invite them up here with me. Kenna Forrester Epp. Kenna is also an alumnus of RJC and a former staff member, and she lives in Rostern. And Tennille Neufeld, who is a future RJC student and the daughter of Scott and Natalie. Um, so, of course, uh, the intent of the auction is to bid high, bid often. We're going to be fast. Um, Kenna's going to have one cake. Natalie's going to come up with the, or, sorry, Natalie, that's her mom. Tennille's going to come up with the next one right after, and then they're just going to keep going. So we're going to go quickly with this. It is a fundraiser, and uh, we're going to get ready to roll. So I'll introduce the first cake. 
Oh, and the spotters are Duff Workington over there. Duff, give a wave. And Larry Epp over there. Uh, okay, so our first cake for this evening is a salted dark chocolate espresso cake made and donated by Stephanie Workington of Lip Rostern. Stephanie is an alumni of our JC. This salted dark chocolate cake is, the, is perfect for the dark chocolate lover. Compromised of, or sorry, comprised of four layers of a rich, decadent dark chocolate cake with layers of chocolate espresso buttercream, topped with a rich, creamy dark ganache and a mocha crumble. Goes perfect with a cup of coffee or an espresso. Dad, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Nicole. It's uh, great to be here again. Although I did say to Nicole last year, last year was my last year. I think my best before date has come. I retired from auctioning a number of years ago already, but it is fun to be here and uh, fun to raise and good to raise some money for RJC. Duff and I were uh, talking about all the empty chairs here tonight, and probably a lot of people are watching the briar tonight. But we said, aren't we lucky though? There's the bidders are here though. All those empty seats were not the bidders. The, the people in the crowd here tonight are the bidders. So Nicole introduced the first cake, and you know what, we've been selling the cakes for over the years, anywhere from 500 to 1,000, and I think the highest one went for 14,000 one year when we had the bunch of guys here. So that just sets the tone for tonight, right? Okay, who'll start me off at about a $500 bid? And now the $500 bid, another $500, well, make it $250. Make it $250, now the $250, $250 I've got. And now make it $300, and now $350, and now $350, now the $350 bid, and now the $350 bid. I got $350 here, and now $400 off. And now $400, now make it $450. Now make it $450, now the $450 bid, now the $450. It's going to go cheap, the first one, 450. I got 450, and now make it 500. And now the $500 bid, another $500 bid, another $500, another $500 bid, another $500 bid, another $500, $500, $500 anywhere. 450, and now 500. I'm out of practice, remember, so you got to help me along here. I need the bidders. I've got 450, and now make it 500. And now the $500 bid, another $500 bid, you go to the $500 bid, another 500. 475, Duff? 475, and now 475, another 475 dollars anywhere. We're gonna not beg all night. I'm gonna sell it for 450 to the Hildebrands right up front. Uh, our next uh, cake is an Oreo chocolate cheesecake made and donated by Barb Wolf of Rostern. Barb is also an alumnus of RJC. This is an Oreo chocolate cheesecake, a rich and classic flavored cheesecake with a new spin. This chocolate cheesecake sits atop an Oreo cookie crumb base covered in a decadent chocolate glaze and topped with a white chocolate bowl full of fresh um, blueberries and chocolate dipped strawberries. Boy, that fruit on there is practically healthy, eh? With all the calories. Okay, on the cake there, lovely cake. Who's got 500 to start? 500, another $500 bid, another $500 bid, another $500 bid, another 500. Make it 300 and let's start. It's where we end that counts. Three on bid. And now I've got three in front first. And now 350, make it 350. And now make it 400. And now the $400, another $400, now make it 450, Duff. And now 450, another 450, another 450. Now we got an auction sale. And now 500. And now make it five, and now make it $500, another $500 bid, another $500 bid, $500, don't discuss it too long and now make it 550 duff and now 550 dollar bid another 550 another 550 i got 500 up front and now 550 another 550 dollar bid another 550 dollar bid anywhere thank you and now 600 we got a new bidder and now 650 and now make it 650 now the 650 don't want to quit now you just got in 650 and now make it 700 and now 700 and now the 700 up and another 700 remember with inflation these cakes should have gone up <laughs> I've got 650, and now make it 700, and now the 700 dollar bid, another 700 dollar bid, another 700 dollar bid, another 700 dollar day. Where? 700, going once, going twice. Sold it your way, Duff, for 650 dollars. Give her a round of applause. This next cake is a banana split layered cake. A classic ice cream shop favorite is the banana split. And this delicious dessert makes this legendary sundae into a cake. It's not an ice cream cake. 
Be sure to be enjoyed by sweet tooths of all ages. It's decorated with pineapple, maraschino cherries, chocolate and mint, and strawberries, and it looks delicious. Oh, sorry. Hey, lots sorry. Of this is made by Luda Linda Rudacek of Roster, and she's the parent of alumni. Getting lots of good food groups in there. Who's got $500 and started? 500, another $500 bid, another yeah. five, five on bid, and I'll make it six. And I'll make it 600, another 600, another 600, another, and I'll make it seven, and I'll make it 700, and I'll make it eight, and now the $800 bid, another $800 bid, another $800 bid, another 800. I've got 700, and now make it 750, and now the $750 bid, another $750 bid, another $750 bid, another $750 bid, another 750 anywhere, 750, I've got 700, and now 750. How about 725? 725. Remember, they called off a recession in Canada. Is that, was that a bid? Sold it there to the Epps. Okay, he says no. Look at that little girl wants the cake. I've got 700 and now make it 725. Going once, going twice. Sold it for $700. Give him a round of applause. This, this next cake is a lemon raspberry cake donated by the Bauman family and made by Jessica Smart. The Baumans are from Cudworth. They have three boys here at RJC, Wyatt, Lucas, and Jacob. So just imagine that their food bill at home has probably gone down significantly by having three boys in the dorm. So this cake is, imagine a moist and fluffy lemon cake bursting with tangy fresh raspberries throughout topped with a luscious layer of tangy cream cheese buttercream frosting that perfectly balances the sweetness. It is a delightful combination of zesty and sweet flavor flavors that will make your taste buds dance. Okay, another great cake and another great supporter. They, as you heard Nicole say, they have three kids here and uh, also donating a cake. I remember the days when I had three kids going here at one time, that was the big bill. Okay, on the, uh, on the cake there, who will start me at a $500 bid? And now the $500 bid, and the $500, five on a bid, and now six. And I'll make it $600, on the $600 bid, and the $600 bid, and the $600. We got five over there, and now $550, and now make it $600. Now make it $600, now $650, and now the $650 bid, and the $650 bid, and now $650, $650 bid. We've got $600, $650, I've got enough. And now seven, and now make it $750. And now $750 bid, it's only $50 more. Thank you. And now $800. And now make it $800 bid, another $800 bid, another $800, another $800. Boy, you split it all those ways, it's not that much money. And now make it 800. And now 800, I'll bid another 800, I'll bid another 800. I got 750, and now make it 800. Going once, going twice. Sold it for $750. Give her a round of applause. This next cake is a German chocolate cake. It was donated by Susan Jeske and Eldon Funk from Laird. Uh, Eldon is an alumnus. They are also the parents of Antea, who, their daughter, who's in grade 10 here. It was made by Beate's German Bakery in Waldheim. This German chocolate cake with buttercream icing is the ultimate homemade melt-in-your-mouth, creamy, chocolatey, and the very best German chocolate cake you will ever taste. This German chocolate cake stands out from all other typical chocolate cakes because it uses German chocolate instead of regular milk chocolate. The bonus feature of this cake is that it's covered in a sweet... Okay. <laughs> in a sweet and creamy German buttercream frosting that is first cooked with pudding. To complete the cake, Beate has topped it with what she calls German chocolate sweets. And I think you might get to eat one that fell on the floor. <laughs> Five second roll. I was going to suggest, Kenny, you should spin that cake around, but maybe we should be careful. It is a lovely cake, though, uh, well decorated. Just look at the variety that's on that cake. Who's got about a $500 bid and start? You know where we end. Five I've got, and now six, and now make it 600. And now 600 on the, I'll make it seven. And now make it 700 on the, make it 700 on the, make it seven, now make it eight. And now make it $800 bid, another $800 bid, another $800 bid, another $800 anywhere. Make it 750, we've got 700 up front, and now 750. Another $750 bid, another 750, hard to have an auction sale when I don't have bidders. 
I got 700 up front, and I'll make it 750. Another 750 dollar bit, another 750 dollar bit, another 750 anywhere, going once, going twice. Usually when I say three times, people bid, but not tonight. Okay, going once, going twice, sold for $700 up, right up front here. And we should introduce Laura up. She's Kenna's, she's the assistant of the assistant. Uh, Laura um, was being like a mini spotter. She was pointing and she said, she just bought a cake. So she could be our future spotter. Uh, this next cake is a turtle tort cake. It was made by Karen Kruger. Uh, Karen is one of our RJC staff cooks in the kitchen. Uh, and uh, I think this was a recipe she learned in culinary school. What a treat to get a classic fluffy chiffon cake. This layered chocolate pecan chiffon cake is nestled between layers of salted caramel buttercream frosting. Finishing off the cake is turtle's chocolates, delicious morsels of chocolate, pecans and caramel, and drenched in a luscious and rich chocolate ganache and caramel. Okay, you heard Nicole describe another great cake. Uh, it's not the cake so much, obviously it's the cake that we're buying, but it's the contribution you're making to RJC and, and the music fund here. So let's bid high and let's bid often. Who's got about $600 and started? 600, and now I got 600, and I'll make it seven. And now 700, and now 700, and I'll make it eight. And I'll make it 800, and I'll make it nine. And I'll make it 900, and I'll make it a $1,000 bid. We gotta get one cake that goes over 1,000. You got 1,000, Duff? thousand he's got and now eleven hundred and I'll make it eleven hundred you can get back in and now eleven hundred I'll bid another eleven hundred now make it twelve and I'll make it twelve hundred dollar the twelve hundred I'll bid another twelve hundred I'll bid to twelve and I'll make it thirteen duff and now thirteen and I'll make it fourteen hundred on the fourteen hundred I'll bid fourteen and now fifteen and now the fifteen hundred dollars sixteen and now sixteen hundred sixteen and now seventeen and now seventeen hundred I'll make it eighteen and I'll make it eighteen hundred dollars Larry your side is awful quiet and I'll make it 18, and I'll make it 1,800, 1,750 I've got. 1,750? I've got 18, well that's even better than 1,750. Okay, 1,800, and I'll make it 19. Let's see if we can get it to 2,000, and I'll make it 19, and I'll make it 1,900. Duff's got 1,800, and now 1,900, I'll bid another 1,900, I'll bid another 1,900, I'll bid another 1,900 anywhere. Going once, going twice. 1850, I'll take it. Yeah. Have you got it? And I'll make a 19. And I'll make a 19. And now the 1900, now the 1900, where's that other bidder? And now 1900, now the 1900 already anywhere. Going once, going twice. Sold it your way down for 1850. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. The up table. So this next one is a triple lemon cheesecake donated and made by Rebecca Isaac of Laird. She's the parent of five alumni. So she also had a big bill sending her kids to RJC here. <laughs> uh, this beautifully rich cheesecake balances the sweet with the tart citrus flavors of lemon. This dessert is made with lemon curd and topped with candied lemon slices. Add a dollop of whipped cream when serving and your taste buds will thank you a wonderful cake to make us believe that spring will be here any day now. Also, Rebecca was an ex-board um, uh, member, along with Christy. Remember when we were all on the board? Christy was just a youngster at the time. Uh, <laughs> you're still a youngster. Okay, on the cake there. And uh, who will start me on about a $500 bid? 500. Five on bid, and I'll make it six, and I'll make it six hundred, and I'll make it seven, and I'll make it seven hundred on the seven, and I'll make it eight, and I'll make it eight hundred on the eight hundred. I'll bid another eight hundred. I'll make it eight hundred. I've got seven hundred there, and I'll make it eight, and I'll make it seven fifty if it helps. Seven fifty, and now the seven hundred fifty dollar bid, another seven hundred fifty dollar, another seven fifty. Well, seven twenty five, we can go down. Seven twenty five, and I'll make it seven twenty five, and I'll make it seven hundred twenty five dollar bid, another seven hundred twenty five dollar day where. Duff, it's awful quiet, Larry. And now 725, another $725 bid, another $725 day. Where? Going once, going twice. Sold it for $700 right down the center. <laughs> the 
This next cake is always a really special one that we get. Um, for many years, for as many years as I've been involved with this auction, the RJC SRC has donated and made a cake. So this year, the cake was donated and made by RJC High School SRC members, Alex Epp, who's in grade 11, Miate Metcalf, who's in grade 12, and Monica Steinke, who's also in grade 12. This is a decadent layered cake comprised of three layers of rich chocolate cake nestled between a fresh strawberry filling. The cake is covered in a strawberry buttercream and drenched in deliciously rich chocolate ganache and chocolate covered strawberries. Thank you to the students for doing this. Okay, if we bid high and bid often, that'll show some good appreciation for the students that helped bake this cake and raise some good money. We'll start with about a $600 bid. 600. We'll make it 400 and start. 400. 400 on bid. And now make it five. And now make it 500. And now make it 500. And now make it five. And now make it six. And now 600 on the six. And now the seven. And now 600. I got it. Now 700 dollar bid. And the 700 dollar bid. And the 700 dollar bid. And the 700 dollar anywhere. How about 650? How about 650? How about 650? Now 650 dollar. That's only about a hundred dollars a strawberry so far. So we're pretty, pretty, pretty low here. Who's got 650 and now make it 650, now 600? How much have I got, Duff? I got mixed up there. Did I have 700? I think I had 700, and now make it 750. And now make it 750, now the $750 bid, now the $750 bid, now the $750 bid, where? Going once, going twice. We're gonna sell it. The cakes are going awful cheap tonight. Everybody's waiting maybe for a pie instead of a cake. I've got 750 and now 800 and now make it eight. And now make it 800 on the $800 bid, now the $800 bid, now the $800 bid, now the $800 anywhere. Going once, going twice. Sold it your way for 750 in the back. Give them a round of applause. Well, Laura, I think you probably need this one for your birthday. When's your birthday? Um, April 26th. April 26th, perfect. Oh, coming up soon. Six weeks away. Uh, this is a vanilla confetti birthday cake. This was donated and made by Nicole Jansen. Uh, Nicole lives in Rostron, and she has a home-based bakery called Sweets For You. Um, as I walked in um, with the cake, uh, Zach was delivering it, her husband, and Richard Jansen said, hey, I grew up with his mom in Niagara-on-the-Lake. So a fun connection back to RJC, uh, and certainly grateful for their support tonight. This is layers of a beautiful vanilla cake layered between vanilla buttercream and topped with confetti sprinkles and purple and blue. Are those your favorite colors, Laura? No, they're not, but she'll take it anyway. <laughs> a wonderful addition to any birthday celebration or coffee time with friends. Any day can be a party if you have cake. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Well, that's close, close. Okay, who's got $500 and started on the cake? 500, and now the 500, I'll bid the five on bid and away in the back. And now six, and I'll make it 600. And now the 600, now the 600. And Larry, your side's been awful quiet tonight. Is, is there something wrong with the coffee, or they're drinking too much decaf, maybe? We've got, what, 500 back there? And I'll make it six. And I'll make it seven, Duff. And I'll make it seven. And I'll make it seven. Now the 700, I'll do 700. And I'll make it 650 if it helps them. 650, another 650, another 650 dollar bid, another 650, 650 dollar. We're that's all we've got is 650, and now 650 dollar bid, another 650 dollar bid, another 650 dollar bid, another 650. How about 625? 625, but it helps you. And we're going to show good appreciation for all the people that have donated these cakes tonight. Make it 625, another 600. Tell you, Duff, what? Tell them. We'll we'll throw in 25 dollars if they keep it going. Maybe we'll we'll help them along, eh? Give them twenty-five dollars. <laughs> okay, we've got six twenty-five. Now the boys in the back, they got six hundred and plus your twenty-five. <laughs> they're students, Dad. Did you know that in the back? Well, they're bidding. <laughs> they must have parents' money. <laughs> okay, we've got six hundred, and I'll make it six twenty-five. And I was six hundred twenty-five. And I was six hundred twenty-five. And I was six hundred twenty-five. Not a bit. Not six hundred. Twenty-five dollar bid, another six hundred twenty-five. We're way, way wrong on this cake. We should be a lot higher, folks. 
625, and I'll make it 625 into $625, but another $625 day wear. Last call, 625, sold it in the back for $600. So this is our last cake of the evening before we get to the pies. Uh, this is a Miele crepe tiramisu cake donated and made by Lori and Dave weiler Thiessen. They live in Saskatoon. Dave is uh, on the board, he's the board chair, uh, and we're grateful for their support. This cake is a favorite at our annual cake auction and they've made it for quite a few years, so we're always grateful that they come back year after year and donate. This impressive cake features 18 paper thin layers of homemade crepes soaked in brandy, nestled amongst 18 layers of Kahlua-flavored mascarpone cheese filling. This is the most alcohol we'll ever see at this event, so you may as well bid on it. Um, and finished with a dusting of cocoa powder. This cake balances both a light and fluffy texture with a richness that will satisfy your sweet tooth. Thanks, Lori and Dave. All righty, uh, Nicole described another great cake here. Who's got $500 to start? It seems like that's the place where we want to start. Yeah. $500 on bid, and I'll make it six, and I'll make it six, and now a $600, another $600 bid, another $600 bid, another $600. Make it $550, and let's have an auction sale. $550, and now the $550 bid, another $550 bid, another $550 bid, another $500, $550. All I've got is $500, and I'll make it $550, another $550 bid, another $550 bid, another $550. Day where? Last call, going once, going twice. You got it? Thank you. And I'll make it 600. And I'll make it six. And I'll make it 600. I'll bid another 600. I'll bid another 600. Duff is 550. And I'll make it 600. Another 600. I'll bid another 600. I'll bid another 600. I'll bid another 600. I'll bid anywhere. Going once, going twice. Sold it your way, Duff, for $550. Give them a round of applause. So Laura just informed me that as soon as the man who talks really fast is done, she's going to run out of this gym and go upstairs, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's going to leave after this one, she said. Okay, um, Okay. so Tanil, if you can bring that one forward as well. So I'm going to introduce both of these and then my dad will tell you what we're going to do with this. Um, for 25 years, the Station Arts Tea Room at the Station Arts Tea Room, Joan Yoder, Dennis Helmuth, and Bob Schellenberg served thousands and thousands of crowd-pleasing pies. This will, and he said in brackets most likely, so we'll see if we can twist his arm, kind of like I get my dad back every year, be the last year that they offer these pies as the Songs and Sweets fundraiser. So this could be your last chance. Uh, the first one that Ken is holding is a coconut cream pie. A top secret pastry recipe is used to create the base of a pie, filled with a delicious and not too sweet coconut cream filling and topped with real whipped cream generously sprinkled with toasted coconut. The second one that Tennille's holding is a chocolate peanut butter pie. A top secret, they have a lot of secrets. Uh, <laughs> the top secret chocolate pastry recipe is used to create the base of the pie, filled with a decadent chocolate peanut butter filling and topped with real whipped cream and a homemade caramel sauce. And for any of you that went to the station for all of those years, you will know that these were mainstays on their menu and were enjoyed by many people. So I'll turn it over to my dad to explain how he's gonna do this. Okay, I believe we've sold these in the past and we've always done very, very well on these pies. Uh, good contribution to RJC and thanks for the donors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sell these on choice. And so, meaning that uh, you can buy one or you can buy both. So the highest bidder can buy one or buy both, and the runner-up gets the second one. So um, the danger here is if you don't bid high and bid often, you might lose out on the one that you really want, whether it be the first pie or the second pie. So who's got about a $500 bid, and you can have choice on which pie you take home, or you can buy both of them for two times the money. Who's got $500? 
Thank you. And I'll make it six. And I'll make it six. I've got six on a six hundred. And I'll make it seven. And I'll make it seven. And I'll make it eight hundred. I'll make it down. Make it 750 then. 750 I have. And now 800 uh, duff. And I'll make it 850. Now the 850, the runner up might lose their choice. And I've got 800. And I'll make it 850. Now the 850 dollar bid. Now the 850 dollar bid. Now the 850. Thank you. And we got a new bidder, and I'll make it 900. We've got an auction sale, and I'll make it 950. And I'll make it 1,000 even, and I'll make $1,000 bid into the $1,000. And I'll make it 1,100, and I'll make it 12. And now 1,200, and I'll make it 12, and I'll make it 13. Now we got some momentum, and now I'm 14. And now 1,400, I'll the 1,400 bid into the 14, and I'll make it 15. 15. He, they wanted the last chance to buy this one last pie, and I'll make it 16. And I'll make it 16, Duff. And I'll make it 16. Sixteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars. They were, and I'll make it seventeen. And now seventeen, you've come all this way. Thank you. And now make it eighteen. And I'll make it eighteen hundred dollars, eighteen. And I'll make it nineteen. And now nineteen. And I'll make it two thousand. And now two thousand. And I'll make it twenty-one hundred. And now twenty-one hundred. Should we save twenty-five hundred? So we move along. We'll make it twenty-two hundred, Duff. Twenty-two hundred dollars. Twenty-two. And I'll make it twenty-three. And now twenty-three. And I'll make it twenty-four. And now. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Do you wear twenty-four? And I'll make it twenty-five, and I'll make it twenty-six. And now 26, and now 2600. Boy, it's been a long ways. And now 26, and now make it 27, and now make it 28, and now 28, and now 28, and now make it 3000 even, and now 3200, and now 3200, and now make it 32. Let's see where the money is. And now 3200, and now 3200, and now 3200, I bid 3000. They're going to have a conference call. And now 3200, and now make it 3200. We can make more money tomorrow. And now 3200, and now 30. Two hundred now the thirty two hundred dollar Thank you. And now 34. And now 34. And I'll make it 35. And now 35. And I'll make it 3500 now the 3500 No. no. <laughs> we got 3400 Sold it to the gentleman right here. Did you want both? Of <laughs> Thank you to Eldon Funk and this table over there. Did you want both of them for like 30, 7,200, you can have both pies. <laughs> he takes the chocolate one. Does the runner-up take the other one? Which one is gone? The chocolate one's gone. The best one is still available. Yeah. Aaron. Our, Aaron. No? 3,000 for the, for, the, for the coconut one. Armin, the best one is still available. Okay, we're gonna start this up again. Would you start at 2,500? <laughs> you really wanted that chocolate one, did you? Boy, you're gonna make me work tonight. Who's got a thousand dollars and let's start it again? And now the one thousand dollar bid into the one thousand dollar bid into the one thousand dollar bid into the one thousand dollar bid. We'll make it five hundred. And now the five hundred dollar bid into the five hundred dollar bid into the five hundred dollar bid into the five hundred dollar five hundred dollar bid. Thank you. And I'll make it six. And I'll make it six. I've got five hundred. I'll make it six. And I've got five hundred on the six hundred dollar bid into the six hundred dollar six hundred. Was there like a, a, a check or a, some thousand dollar bills under that first pie? Okay, who's, I've got uh, 500, and I'll make it six, and I'll make it 600, and I'll make it 600 on the 600, and I'll make it 600 on the 600. I've got 500 and make it 600, going once, going twice. That really surprises me that uh, that pie wouldn't go for $3,300. I've got 500 and make it six, sold it for $500. Thank you very much for bidding, and thanks to Duff and uh, Larry, although Larry, your side of the room was pretty quiet. Thank you everyone for bidding. Okay, so thank you very much for participating in our cake auction and pies. Um, we're going to now make the draw, <laughs> wrong bag, we're going to make the draw for the cupcake lottery for the diamond necklace from Heinrichs. Um, if you'd win tonight, um, you can just meet uh, us at the back. We'll bring it back there and we'll give you the bag to take it home in. So, uh, 
Kendall's going to make the draw. Crystal Jansen won this last year, so we'll see, what, <laughs> see if she wins again. And the winning number is 147. 147. Where's 147? Brenda F. Brenda! Ah! <laughs> Congratulations, Brenda. You just meet us at the back. All right. We're going to continue on with our program. Uh, our next choir is our Alumni and Friends Choir. Now, a big part of this event is celebrating the legacy of music at RGC. It includes recognizing the gifts of those who've been uh, partic uh, positively impacted by the program. Jill Weens was one of those people. Jill attended RJC as a student participating in choirs and mu musicals has her own musical gifts and has served the school and the wider community in many ways with these gifts. Jill has found uh, creative ways to serve us and we're very excited to have her here tonight to direct our Alumni and Friends Choir. I'm going to move over to the light since that just happened. And we're very grateful to have the gifts of Brenda Epp as well to accompany the choir. The choir is made up of RGC alumni, staff, parents, friends, and community members. So please join me in welcoming this group forward now and uh, the Alumni and Friends Choir. Thank you. Just as everybody lines up here, I was going to introduce myself. I didn't know Alex was going to do it for me, so I guess I don't need to do that part of my agenda. Um, but we are, yeah, the Alumni and Friends Choir. We had one rehearsal this afternoon, and now we're here to perform for you. Uh, we're going to do three songs tonight. Come Unto Me, written by Bernice Johnson Regan. That Lonesome Road, written by James Taylor, arranged by um, Simon Carrington. And Praise His Holy Name, written and arranged by Keith Hampton. Uh, thanks to all the singers behind me for treating me to a really fun afternoon of singing. And big thank you to Brenda for accompanying for us. And thank you to all of you for helping us on our last song. Uh, you are going to be on the ball and you'll know when I need you.
Good evening. My name is Brittany Shingus, and I am a board member from the Saskatchewan Coral Federation. It is my pleasure to be, with here, be here with you this evening to present an award to a very deserving member of our community. The Saskatchewan Choral Federation is a provincial organization dedicated to supporting choral music in our province, and that includes recognizing amazing music makers and supporters of music, such as the person that we are honoring today, Ryan Wood. The award I am pleased to present tonight, the Outstanding Administrator Award, is presented each year to a school administrator who has made a significant difference in music education in Saskatchewan, by developing and supporting choral music within their school. Some of the many characteristics of an outstanding administrator include advocating for their school music program, attending concerts, and supporting the staff and students with what they need to be successful. Administrators can greatly affect the success of a music program, and if you are lucky enough to work with a great one, it can make all the difference. As a choral conductor and music teacher myself, I can attest to the fact that my personal experience with supportive administrators have made my job so much easier, and they deserve to be recognized for the important part they play in allowing music programs, and therefore the musicians involved in those programs, to flourish. So as I said, it is my pleasure to present this year's Saskatchewan Choral Federation Outstanding Administrator Award to Ryan Wood. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I, can, uh, I can say with total sincerity that when uh, I was contacted about this award, um, it was definitely an award I had never ever even remotely dreamed I would ever receive this award. Um, I, uh, and I have a bit of a confession to make. Um, championing choral music at RJC is kind of uh, pretty easy, <laughs> uh, but it, I was, more than happy to be part of it with my admin team um, and um, in fact in terms of the positive effects that choral music has on students building teamwork getting a positive school culture community bonding outreach choral music is about as good as an admin decision as you can make it's also relatively cost effective for its payback for its the inclusion the inclusiveness of its nature and our voices are that one instrument that you don't need to pay rental fees or storage for. Um, so when it comes to admin and decision making, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, and I'm just really proud to work at a school and with a constituency that always makes it very easy for us in leadership. And it isn't the same in all schools. But I just want to thank our constituency and our visionary board members who over the years have continued to invest and make it relatively easy for us on the school side to continue doing what you saw tonight. I don't take that for granted. So when I became an admin at RJC with our team, I inherited, we walked into a strong choral program. And uh, thank you so much for the, to the Saskatchewan Choral Federation for just recognizing the history and legacy um, of the choral program here. And, and thank you for uh, all those who came before and will continue to come, um, David, Carolee, Santa, David Weiler Thiessen on the board. That's our admin team now, and we always feel supported, and by you, the constituency, to promote the arts and choral music. Thank you, this is for the school. Thank you. I'm gonna invite the mass choir to come forward as I just conclude tonight's program. So, wow, what a great night. Just so much good entertainment, so much good talent, so much talent, so much uh, investment in, in music here. So thank you for that. And thank you, uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to give a few instructions just as we conclude our night here. So if you, uh, if you purchased a cake tonight, Margot Willie's at the back of the auditorium. Uh, Margot can accept cr uh, card payment, check, etc. But any arrangements for payment, please see Margot uh, before you walk out with that cake that you bought. Um, I'm going to go through a list of thank yous and I just ask that you hold your applause until we go through them all. First, I want to thank all of you here tonight for your financial gifts, for attending our event, and for joining us via live stream. 
Your presence in the lives of these students has made a huge difference to the work we do. I want to thank our corporate sponsors, um, a list of whom you can see in the program, but in particular I just want to highlight our gold sponsors, Nunweiler Flower, Town of Rostern, EA Roth Holdings, Lakeshore Tree Farm, Double E Green, and Lakeview Insurance. Thanks to our cake donors, Karen Kruger, RJC SRC, Stephanie Warkenton, Barb Wolf, David and Lori Weiler Thiessen, Nicole Jansen, Rebecca Isaac, Dennis Helmuth, Linda Rudachuk, Susan Jeske, and the Bauman family. Thanks to Paul and Nicole for leading us in the auction tonight. Thanks to Kaylee and Brenda and Cyrus for their work um, in assisting our choirs and, and concert band tonight. Thanks to Elixir Ensemble for attending and supporting our event. Thanks to Jill Weens for her leadership with the Alumni Choir. And uh, Zach, Zach Schellenberg, Hamilton Fast, and the RGC AV crew at the back, um, who've been doing a lot of work here tonight to get us going. And the RGC volunteers who've helped with setup, serving you tonight, and who will help with takedown after. <laughs> um, and also, please uh, help me in thanking the RGC kitchen staff for the delicious goodies on the table and the cupcakes. But thanks to everybody. Um, remember what you heard here tonight. Thank you for attending. Uh, please continue to uh, engage with us in many community events, um, you, of lists of which you can see on your table. Um, and yes, thank you for your ongoing support of RJC, and we hope you enjoyed our Songs and Sweets fundraiser this year.